Hey guys, Dave Kimbrough here with Kimbrough Team, Remax 4000. And so we're just in the first week or so of August, so it must be time for market stats email. And that's exactly what we've got. If you like more information than what I'm going to give you here, you want to delve deep into it, click the link below and you can read all the updated market stats that will encompass up until the end of July 2022. But let's get right to it. Last time we did this, I think I called it the good, the bad, and the ugly, the Clint Eastwood version of market stats. Uh, this month, what we're going to do is call it the getting healthy market stats. And so a uh, common theme here is a healthy market is a good market. Okay. So the first stats that come out, median sales down 14% year over year um, and down a little bit from last month. Last month was an all-time record at uh, right, almost $410,000 for the average sale. This month, it's right at three ninety-five. dollars um, Active listings are getting healthy. Um, 567 active listings um, currently in MLS. Keep in mind, this is still 200 less listings than we had prior to COVID. So I know we refer to the last couple of years as being this crazy crazy time um, and it certainly was what we're doing now is we're just kind of normalizing uh, July number of sales is down but it's uh, still at a healthy 286 units were sold in the month of July and keep in mind that's for 125 million dollars in total volume which is still a very healthy number a very strong number and days on market um, it's up about 10 percent from what it was the last couple of months at 54 days on market, but this month, 60 days on market, which guys, again, on average is still a very strong thing. The analogy I like to use is, let's say you're driving down the highway, um, headed across Utah, you're doing hundred miles an hour and you pass a cop, it doesn't stop you, but you're like, oh my gosh, I better slow back down and do the speed limit. Well, when you slow down to the speed limit, which is what normal is, it feels like you're crawling, right? That's a good analogy for what's going. We were doing the speed limit. We sped up, did 100 miles an hour. We shouldn't have done it, just like we should have had probably all the sales that we had during the COVID time. And now we're kind of getting back down to the speed limit and a kind of a new normal. And it just doesn't feel very good because we've got this adjustment time. So that's exactly what's happening. So just getting back to healthy, the market is still good. There's still good buyers out there and great houses coming to market if you are a buyer. There are some headwinds, right? So we talk about this every time. Inflation, that's a headwind. Um, there's no doubt that it still exists and it's still out there. Interest rates. Interest rates are showing some being steady. Um, and we're seeing those around six and three quarters, give or take a little bit, or five and three quarters, pardon me, five and three quarters for those of you who just freaked out. Um, five and three quarters on the interest rate, which is nice and steady. Um, people, it just, we just need some steady stuff around interest rates so people can adjust. Um, steady is a good thing. And the other thing is too, following our feeder markets. We look at these markets to where people are moving from. We're seeing a good bit of slowdown in those markets as well. A lot of the, the Southwest and the West regions of the country are seeing some market slowdowns. So that's going to make it a little bit more difficult for them to sell their home where they're at in order to buy a home here. Um, but we're still seeing success with that. Again, there's good buyers out there looking for good properties that are priced appropriately. So when you have those, they still can move rather briskly. So that's the market analysis for July 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. If we can help you buy or sell. If you have a friend or family needs some help buying or selling, we'd be happy to take great care of them. Again, you can call 970-263-7355. Um, There's the Kimbro team. Or you can email me, uh, Dave, at thekimbroteam.com. We would be happy to help. Hope you have a great day.